The Coachella Valley's Electoral College member is hopeful tonight after Congress was finally able to certify President-elect Joe Biden as the winner of the presidential election overnight. Marco Revuelta from our sister station Telemundo 15 spoke with the young man today. Scenes of rioters breaking into the nation's Capitol building this Wednesday had Agustin Arriola glued to his TV at work. I saw, you know, the actions and what was going on. I, I was in disbelief. I was in, I was in shock. The 23-year-old from Coachella is one of California's 55 electors. Agustin Arriola. Less than a month ago, Arriola traveled to Sacramento to cast his official vote for President-elect Joe Biden. Um, with, with this new administration, uh, we're hopeful. His ballot, along with the rest of the Electoral College votes, sat inside these brown cases on the Senate floor Wednesday morning. But as the official tally began, a group of protesters reportedly stormed in, stopping the count. Arriola stunned by the images. Um, and just disregard, you know, the, the rule of the law, it... Uh, it definitely left me speechless and, 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 and angry to a point. As lawmakers ran for safety, Senator Jeff Merkley from Oregon tweeted, staff members grabbed the ballots before they were burned by the mob. Arriola's vote, along with everyone else's, safe and secure. That's when I realized that, yeah, like, what they were trying to stop, what the folks were trying to stop was, you know, the certification of these votes. Also on Arriola's mind, the well-being of his mentor, Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz. I texted him and I told him that I was glad that he was safe and, and thank you again for uh, and I thanked him because he ended up that he was ready to go back and make sure that the job was done. Hours later, Congress would get the job done, bringing peace of mind to Arriola. There's a lot of ways that you can go ahead and make your voice heard. Being violent, storming the Capitol, putting other people's lives at risk is not the way to go about. Marco Revuelta, News Channel 3.